What is going on YouTube? Final Boss here and we are chilling, clashing, and killing the game with this perfect 12 and 2 win in the Grand Draft Challenge. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I have a lot of content to go through today. We're about to do the drawing tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to actually pick out all eight contestants tomorrow. Now, I'm not going to be able to do a video with each individually uh, it's like tomorrow, and it might take a couple of weeks or a few weeks, but I'll hit you up and DM you on Twitter and uh, be able to sort all that information out, some Dark Goblins. Wait a minute. That's enough epics. Is Did we get enough rares, though? Don't, don't, you, don't you troll me with... Okay, yeah. That's right. I was, I was figuring it was going to be Royal Giants or something. But anyway, uh, let me go on ahead and get into the topic and the meat of the conversation. So how I actually got inspired is in the beginning of the season, uh, I, I came across this fellow. I, I did not, I just took a screenshot of his deck. I should have taken a screenshot of who he was or whatever. Uh, I believe he was a Korean guy and uh, man, he was just crushing it. And like he got the 5,000 plus trophies. I, yet yeah, that's not even in there anyway. And I was noticing that like, I was like, okay, level eight ice golem and everything else. And I was like, man, this is, this is awesome. I was like, this is some information that I've been trying to tell people for a while in my videos. So it doesn't matter what level you are. Just to hone in and just only look at that one deck and only upgrade those certain troops. So I, I know that's like a hard concept, but I keep saying it and repeating it. And there's a probably, hopefully, a lot of people that are going to catch on to it. So our homie over here today is uh, he he got over into uh, he's a level ten and uh, and you're going to be like okay he's got level twelve commons. Well, guys, listen, it's easy to level up your commons. Uh, they're the fastest one to go up in there. And that's why you're playing against so many Royal Giants and Elite Barbarians, because it's easy to get the Elite Barbarians up to level 12. So the, as far as rumor mill goes, I have heard that they're not going to be getting a nerf uh, in the next, next update. So I'm not 100%, you know, can never be 100% on that. But I'm going to say that's like, a, I'm going to give it a good solid 85%. And those are and those are money to shoot the dice on. So elite barbs are still here to good uh, for good right now, and uh, they're pretty easy to counter. I mean, yes, you can drop them on the bridge and take a tower, but you know what? You could do that with a royal giant. I get it, and it only sucks when you don't have a counter. And I was learning that in my double elixir challenge. Is it really, really? I mean, it really bites when like uh, you don't have a counter for something. You know, if you don't have a zap or the cards you're used to having. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, it. it provides different challenges as well so he was able to give me his whole deck and screenshot it over here so we're going to look at his cards here just so you're able to see you know what he's upgraded and what he hasn't upgraded before we get into some actual battle play from him and be able to stay tuned guys i am going to highlight and showcase a few of some people's uh, and some friends of mine on twitter that decided to share that and i told him i'd put it at the end of the uh the thing so as you can see here level eight skellies uh let's say guards are level three dark gobs hadn't really upgraded those cannon see so cannon normally you're gonna go cannon or inferno uh he look it looks like he upgraded his skarmy so he's just been a minor player guys and as you can see his knight hasn't been leveled he didn't mess with the goblins so i mean he didn't even level up his princess look at that and that that's normally goes well with a uh with the minor deck, but I guess since his princess is so low, he doesn't want to get it zapped. So just looking at his cards here, level seven hog. I mean, he didn't upgrade everything, guys. So kind of feel, find a deck that you know is going to be good for a while, like hog, or you know minor decks, or or something that you see that's really going to have some longevity, like cannon or inferno. I mean, these are all cards that you're going to be able to request and everything else. So getting a deck that's mainly commons and rares is really going to benefit you so as you can see he didn't really he didn't upgrade his royal giant uh i mean if you love your royal giant go on ahead and play your royal giant guys that's okay that's fine i'm, I'm not going to beat you up too bad but look barbs to level seven i mean he just has not upgraded that much stuff and i mean actually i mean my little level 10 account i think it just went a level 11 he's putting it to shame because my car levels aren't even that high uh, but then again, the count that was given to me, he upgraded every single card. And, and I just think, in my opinion, that uh, it's, it's, the count is just not good. I mean, it's, and I feel bad because I got like a level two Lava Hound and it gets crushed by everybody. So not much you can do there. So just I keep trying to bang this principle in your head. Stop upgrading every single card, guys. 
I understand. And that's probably why some of your animosity and salt is thrown in on some of my other videos uh, from these guys who are level three and legendary or level five. You know, these are things that you can still do. You have to have patience and time. And if you don't want to do that, then yes, you're going to have to spend some money. That is how it's going to go. I mean, that's how the story is. And that's the way the game is made to be. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and start some of this gameplay up. Uh, you know, I, I don't think a level 10 is uh, pretty common to get into 5k, uh, but level 11, I'm seeing so many uh, getting into 5,000, but they have the very common occurrence is level 12 commons and level 9 rares. Now, if you have these cards and you're not quite there yet, maybe you should just like, you know, buckle down and just use one deck. And as you can see right here, I mean, this, that Royal Giants is going down. He actually split those archers. Uh, that is going to support, so it, obviously it's not even there, so he is going to even it up right here, and uh, Elite Barbarian is going to go down. So, I, you know, I don't have a problem with Elite Barbarians, and I, I think this deck is great. Uh, the Ice Golem, guys, is one of my favorite cards. It goes well in every single deck. That was a really, really smooth move right there. He went on ahead and put down the Ice Golem. Then he went for the Miner. I actually thought that he was going to go there. And now this is a problem with the under-level Ice Golem versus Skarmie or anything else. is because it's not going to kill it completely. So yes, that is a problem. But you're still able to kite, pull, and do everything else with that right there. So he's going to have to go on ahead and drop those Elite Barbarians again. And guys, if, that, if, is that, if that's what they need to do is to put Elite Barbarians in with the Royal Giant to... Uh, fix it because that that is why it's used so much is because it's a common so it's really easy or it's the easier to max out your commons you know you could get a max royal giant and still have level eight or nine hog i think that's where i was so back in the day back in the day sony um i got the four thousand trophies as level 11 so i've been like a that'd been equivalent to getting to five uh five thousand trophies now because there's a lot more people in the game and that has progressed that's been a long time and that's when uh, royal giant first be kind of came a beast because one time royal giant wasn't being used at all so his horde really came in and did some work there uh and, and the ice golem goes kaboom and cleans all of that up which was really, really nice on his part. So like I said, stay tuned at the end of the video. I'm gonna show some more clips and help you guys out with some of these decks that might, you know, if you're around these trophy range and uh, that, that might help you out a little bit. So I understand that not everybody's situation is the same. I do try to put out content where it's gonna help out everybody, but I mean, it's just it's just not possible to just go through so all this content just to, to you know, hit every single key point and hit every single situation. But I'm trying here to do the best I can to help everybody out the best way I can. And that's another reason I'm doing this uh, this little competition and the giveaway. So hopefully I'm gonna go on ahead and see if I can get, uh, that was a bad Royal Giant. That was just, dude was dead as soon as he dropped him uh, right, right into that. But he got into a panic mode. I would've showed some of his 13 clips, but he was just smoking them. And some of those 13s that he played, I uh, did not feel like they were very skilled and their decks were all over the place. Now that is a common occurrence with a, a lot of people is that their their decks just don't have any, uh, it just doesn't gel well, you know, it just doesn't really work really well at all. So that is definitely an issue if you're, if you're having some kind of crazy deck and you're like, okay, I'm trying to have an off meta deck that wins, but maybe you should try a little something of some key ingredients of the decks that are winning, like Mega Minion or Minions and Fireball Zap and Ice Golem. And then you can go on ahead and bounce your, uh, your business. But you do need a win condition uh, deck that is going to be able to uh, take it down very... I know this is very basic to you guys, but I mean, having a win condition in your deck is definitely huge. And what you were, you know, what's your thoughts and ideas of how you want to win and figuring out that combo where you just know it so well. I mean, I, they, these guys that have got the 5,000 trophies guys are, have th thousands of matches under their belt, you know, if not like tournaments and everything else. So these guys are very, very good players. These guys are not your, your average Joe that just started playing. And like I said, this guy has been playing his this same deck like Miner uh, since like he started playing. He didn't really want to play anything else, as you can see with this hog being a level 7. And, um, and he hadn't upgraded that because that's just 
you know, that's just who he is. You know, boss man is a hog guy. That, I mean, I can play any other deck just because I've I've played so many decks and I like to play all the decks. I don't know. I just like to try decks out and see what it's all about. And, uh, you know, it also helps being able to counter everything too as well. So this guy is playing the Lava Loon deck, uh, showing it he's countering it pretty well. And uh, he's sh shutting it down so far, so that's that's awesome. So as you can see here, this is a really good minor deck, especially with uh, level four Lava Hound. Okay, and here comes the Elite Barbarians, dropping them off the bridge. Never seen that one before. So <laughs> here comes the Scarmy. He's gonna drop that on them, and uh, he's gonna log to clean that up. It's so weird on these replays, as you can see. Like one time he's on the bottom, now he's on the top. I just don't even get that. So he's sending in a nice little match, and that is like the Lava Hound nightmare right there is uh, seeing a horde being dropped on your Lava Hound and because it just cleans everything up and not having your fireball ready. So he's coming in with the double Lava Hound. The double Lava Hound. So now he just left himself completely vulnerable, and he just let the Elite Barbarians just come strolling on in. Ziboni. I think it's Zivoni, uh, <laughs> is going to uh, take that down nice and easy. And you know what? I know that's a, like a skillless move to drop him on there, but you know what? He just dropped a Lava Hound and a Loon on there, so of course that's a free tower and that's a gimme. So you do keep those as defensive as you can possible, but they are obviously great offensive cards. I try not to use them too often for defensive purposes, uh, but, you know, I mean, for offensive purposes, but I, I, I typically, you know, we always break our, uh, what we say we're going to do anyway. So this guy's going for a three crown and that's a common occurrence also of how you lose. Uh, don't be greedy unless it's super, super low. Uh, you know, if you could just go for the two crown, uh, then you're going to be able to have that as well. Uh, a lot easier. So that's how a lot of people win, especially when they are, you know, winning the game and that's how they cough the game up. So it looks like this push right here is almost going to be it. He zaps that away. Those elite barbarians is going to take that tower for the W. So yeah, that is what's up, man. Dude's a crusher. Um, so yeah, I wanted to go on ahead and highlight this one because this is a deck that's being highly used is the, uh, the bait deck with the mirror, uh, my personal arch nemesis bait, bait purgatory. So that the tombstone is just a great counter for it. Uh, it looks like it's not that strong, uh, or maybe he put that down wrong because I, I always notice that the timing, you always have to like, if you can't put it down immediately, you should wait for the first wave. That's something that I've been working on. And uh, that's another thing that I've kind of cleaned up in my game here recently is just kind of waiting. If I'm using the tombstone, just to wait for that wave of the first fir uh, fire spears to jump down. Sometimes you get a little impatient, you're sitting on elixir, so, but you can always put down another card. So the tombstone does a great way and it will completely counter out a furnace. Uh, if that's done right, <laughs> he's going, wow, he's got level six. He's like, I can't even do nothing. His log won't even kill that level six, let alone, I don't even think it was level five. You have to have a, uh, you have to have a level three log or level four. Is it level three or level four log? Uh, you have to have a pretty high up there log. <laughs> I think it's level four log to kill max. Uh, yeah, it's definitely, I'm going to go with four. That's my final answer. That's right, boss man. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway this deck is really good and, it, and it's not like this is like the world record um of a deck i have not done my due diligence on that have not looked into it i just think it was neat and i and i really like the fact that i could look at his cards and see kind of use him as an example of kind of what you want to do and i understand some of you guys are way past that point and you're like you know what i don't, I don't even care but just focus in on one deck and just try to upgrade those one cards. I know a lot of you guys do this, and maybe I am just sitting here just uh, talking up a storm, but this is just something that is going to be able to help all of you guys out in the long run and uh, make you a little bit more successful, especially if you're free to play. And I feel like that's a that's a, a general, general group. Now, I know some people are like, well, I spent $50, but I'm free to play. Like, okay, that's fine. Like, you know, you didn't spend you know all of your 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 donald trump one million dollars on it but that's that's cool but i mean whatever whatever you want whatever you want to do and justify that's fine i i don't think that spending a few bucks in a game that you play all the time is that bad because it's just like buying a video game if you spend 60 bucks whatever so it's not it's not that big of a deal but i know some of you guys 
don't want to do it or, you know, or they just don't care. I mean, and, and, and I understand that some of you guys pride yourself on that as well. So I think that's cool. So he's, he's completely shutting this down. And yes, the card levels do matter guys, but at the same time, if you're skilled, these cards are able to hang up in there and the tower difference between a 10 and a 13, uh, it's pretty significant as far as the damage goes, but you know, it's still not that huge where the, his cards are, are not, not making up for it. So even some 13 still only have uh, level 12 cards or level 10 or even some of them may even have level 9. It just depends on if they've upgraded everything. And there's just not there's just not one thing that's going to answer every single question that, you know, or, or anything that's just a blanket statement. But I remember back in the day of when I was a level 11, beating level, <laughs> look at that, see? Don't even touch her. Uh, whenever I was back in the day when I was level 11, beating level 13, it's crazy, crazy. St all right, guys, now what you all been waiting for, a few other decks. So we have another minor deck here is using the Furnace and uh, some um, Elite Barbarians. But as you can see, he's using level 9s and uh, level 12 commons. And he had a level 2 minor. We had Gohawks over here. He was using a graveyard that was level 2. As you can see, common occurrence, level 9. He had a pretty high level graveyard, though. Uh, we also have a Golem deck over here from my boy We Are Sweezies. From the Smiley Clan, uh, level 6 Golem. That's pretty high though, but I think you can still get up there even with like a level 5. Maybe even a level 4 would probably be even pretty able to get you up there pretty high. But I'm guessing level 5. Uh, Peter over there killing it. And last but not least, my homie Jordan. Uh, this is the deck that I would recommend. He has level 9, he has level 12 commons, and level 9 rares. So, you know, some of these things you could kind of get away with, even a level 8. You know, you might even be able to press it up there with, uh, with like, a lower level skeletons if you wanted to go that way. Zap is kind of a must on the level 12, but you won't even be able to zap those annoying maxed uh, barrel of goblins. But at the end of the season, it's going to be stressful and painful. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope there was something you guys got out of this that was positive.
tsunami. Yo!